you know, take me through your play, you know, where you scoring 17 points. I see first quarter was a little rough, and then after that, you just kind of took off. Um, I, I felt good. Like, my shot felt good. I, I Shots just didn't go in, but I tried to stay positive. The whole team stayed positive. We just kept pushing through. We didn't shoot very well, but we tried to step it up on defense and try to win it there. I'm glad you mentioned defense because it seems like it's a real staple of this team, especially down the stretch. You know, tell me about the last couple of minutes of how you guys really locked down. We, we try to defend the paint. We try to stay out on the three also, but they are, they were just good at making those shots. We were all the way out there, but they made some tough shots. Kudos to them, but I, we will do better on, on Saturday. Yeah, you mentioned too, the Saturday rematch. You know, what do you anticipate that game being like after this game being so close? Uh, it, it's going to be a grind. Um, we're going to have to play tough on defense and hope that we make more shots than tonight. Awesome. Thank you, Dor. Thank you. Uh, hey, Dora. Um, just curious, uh, with this game being so close, uh, different than previous games you guys played, what was the energy like um, in the locker room after the after the win? Oh, we were pumped. Uh, we know it's a big win. We're they're a great team. They're they were they're number two. So we we knew we needed to get this win. Uh, we're 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 all so super excited, but we need to stay calm and and bring it on Saturday. Uh, talking to Diaba last week, she says that uh, she looks up to you so much and you guys really challenge each other. Um, when you guys both have these huge wins, like how humbling is that to you for uh, her to say how much uh, she looks up to you? No, that I, I was watching the interview and that really like touched my heart. Like I love Diaba. I love all of my teammates. Uh, we all have great relationships. We're all great friends on and off the court. And I think that's what makes us a great team. Thanks, Dora. Thank you. Dora, you went to that pick and roll look twice down the stretch, uh, hit the three the first time, made the pass the second time. Just how comfortable are you in, in that play and making plays in that sort of set? I love the pick and roll situation. It's uh, I grew up playing point guard, it's an, and it's the situation I'm the most comfortable in. And um, I love making plays like that. But Ellie made some great plays. She made that layup, then she got a big D board, made the free throws. Ellie, I felt super confident throwing her the ball down there. Uh, did you feel uh, a little relieved when she made the two free throws after you missed one or two the, the time before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, thank God she made them because I kind of felt uh, bad about me missing that one. Uh, I wasn't clutch enough. <laughs> you you might have answered this already. I know I saw you talk with Adrian a little bit about it, but were you just sort of waiting for the, the lid to come off the basket for you early? I mean, you, you kept shooting through it. Yeah, I, I got to keep shooting. I, I'm confident in, in my shooting ability. It's just uh, about how if, if I'm if I'm going to stay positive about it, I can't let myself go down and be negative about missing shots. I got to be positive and help out the team as much as I can. How much did having um, a Steffi back help? Because you guys played a lot of close games last year. You didn't have her in those games. And she, especially... You know, in the first half when you were kind of struggling, Callie was struggling. She made some big plays. Just how much does it help having her, especially when the game's that close? Steffi's an amazing player. She's a shot maker. She can drive. She can post up. She can shoot to pull up three. She's It's extremely hard to guard her, so I'm super happy that she's on my team and not on some other team. She's a very hard guard. What was it like for you guys playing a game that was um, really close down the stretch? I mean, um, I can't remember if you guys really did in the non-conference. I mean, even against Kansas State, you were you were up by a fair amount at the end. What was it like to get back into that? Because I know you've been in these spots before, but it's exciting. It's uh, it's exciting. We all love. We we try to in practice practice those um, tight moments and um, try to put put ourselves in those situations where. Um, it's it's close and there's not a lot of time left, so we were we were prepared for a game like this. You feel uh, more confident in those situations than you did last year. I mean, both yourself and just as a team with everybody basically having another year of experience. Yeah, I think the year of experience helps helps us a lot because we have a much better team chemistry and we all have confidence in each other to knock down the shot and, and the, when it matters. That's good for me. Thank you, Dora. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. One more question. I asked uh, Diaba this last time. Well, you know, just, just move to the starting five. You guys are all from different countries. You know, how awesome is that just when you 
you hear all those countries reading red off at the beginning of the game. That, that's great. We always tease the Americans how we're playing and they're not. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it's great. Um, it's an amazing experience uh, knowing all these other players, cultures. Um, it's it's just an amazing experience. Appreciate it, Dora. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going? Good. How are you, Coach? Good. 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 I mean, we talk about taking this team to the next level. You know, what do you think about this game and what you guys showed out your poise on the stretch? Yeah, the the fourth quarter was a shootout. It was like. Um, Neither team could really make a basket until the fourth quarter. And then both teams shot over 50 something percent. And uh, I thought NAU hit some tough clutch shots down the stretch. They showed a lot of uh, poise and, and competitiveness. And, um, but it, anytime you can shoot the ball that bad and still win, uh, you got to feel good about it. Because we, we, we shot the ball pretty bad, especially from the three. I mean, we have this team, you know, where they're blowing out teams and they're in these dog fights like this too. Just kind of just build the confidence that, hey, we can be and we can, we can win these games at the stretch we need to. Yeah, it definitely should, you know, build your confidence and your your poise. You know, you're building your poise for the next game that's close. And, and you can look back at other close games and say, hey, no, we figured it out. And, um, you know, it, it just can just keep helping us for the future. I mean, we look at the stats, you look at the minutes played by Diaba, and Dora, you know, just think that they're how meaningful, even impactful they made those minutes count. Yeah, yeah, they were both of those guys were clutched down the stretch. I thought, you know, Dora or Diaba hit a tough three in the corner and and that made a big difference. That was a very timely shot. And then uh, Dora's three off the dribble. But there's so many other great plays, too. I thought uh, Callie's O board put back, you know, where she had to wrestle it away and it was a really physical situation. and. And she put it back in. We needed that one bad at that time. And, and um, there was just a lot of great plays. Ellie's rebounding at the end and our guard rebounding. You know, you have uh, three guards, uh, two guards with eight boards and one with 10. Um, you know, that, that gives you a chance. How do you guys take this momentum and ride it into Saturday and knock them off again? Well, you don't want to get too carried away. Um, you know, I, I, they were without Rashid tonight. And I'm assuming... They didn't bring her not to play her on Saturday, you know, so she's going to play on Saturday and it'll be a little bit of a different game from that standpoint, but maybe we can shoot the ball a little bit better and it, and it makes a difference for us. When we look at that first quarter, you know, it's kind of, you guys kind of struggle, but you guys are still in it. What do you guys change on Saturday just to accelerate the process and come out strong? Well, we, we hope that we can still play that same level of defense. Um, but uh, offensively, we've got to make some open shots. We have to have good ball movement. And I don't always, th I didn't always think it was us missing uh, just open shot after open shot. I think at times, especially when we had that 10 point lead in the first quarter, our shot selection all, all of a sudden went in the toilet. You know, we just took tough contested shots, off balance shots, and, and we got a little bit too carried away. We didn't stay steady. Um, so I, I think that's something we can improve on next time too. Thanks coach, appreciate it. Uh, hey, Coach, how you doing? Hi. Um, so Dora had a little bit of a struggle um, in the first half. What do you think it changed for her um, in the second half uh, leading today in points? I don't know. Sometimes it just takes time to get into that rhythm. Um, and uh, one thing about especially her in Montana, you know, they, they don't get nervous about taking the next shot. They don't have a problem with that. And you're lucky to have someone on your team who – that way if you don't then you get nervous and you miss and you make mistakes so um you know yeah sometimes it just takes takes a little while to get going uh, you've kind of said in the past that the locker room seemed um a little somber after the games even though you guys win uh dora said that uh they are a lot more excited today uh did you see that as well yeah i mean any is a quality opponent they're they're a good team and uh, again to, to shoot the ball that bad but still win you know, you feel good about your the effort and the, your, your team effort to make it happen. You know, like doing all the little things, your rebounding, your defense, your your uh, defending screens. You know, um, it feels good to find a way to win even when you're not playing your best. Um, and then not really about the game tonight, but um, just with everything that happened yesterday um, in D.C., kind of a crazy day. 
in America. Um, did that change anybody's like emotions? Was that rough at all going into today's game, knowing that that had happened yesterday? You know, everything kind of happened um, after practice, you know, so we really didn't get a chance to sit down and discuss or, you know, absorb any feelings about that. You know, the next day we had a, today we had a shoot around and, and then we went right to practice. So um, I'm sure there's going to be some discussions about it tomorrow, but, you know, I, I really like to leave uh, the players to handle that on their own with their own families. You know, each family is different, built differently. They have different opinions about stuff. So I kind of, I, I don't want to um, undermine their upbringing. You know, I, I, I'm going to let them discuss that with their parents. And if there's something that they want us to discuss as a group, then yeah, let's definitely do that. Thanks, Coach. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Were you just kind of uh, waiting on them to make a run at some point? Because they were not shooting the ball well either. And then down the stretch, it really turned around. Yeah, you, you just always know that that can happen. And um, we've seen it. We've seen them do that in the past. You know, you've seen uh, JC Bailey go off and hit six, seven threes in Reed Gym. You've seen uh, Rashid just look unstoppable. Um, you know, and then they have other players that can do that too. Nakai and uh, I thought uh, Mao, I thought she she was really tough down the stretch and some of the threes that she shot. But yeah, you you definitely, uh, you didn't see us relax in the fourth quarter. Not that we really could with a one to three point lead, but uh, we knew that it could come and you could just feel it on the bench. And the, the coaches really know because they know the history. And um you know, I thought we, we did a good job of staying tough down the stretch, and they just they just made some tremendous shots. Yeah, I wasn't sure I believed you about number four, but she's really, she's nice. Uh, she's yeah, a good player. You, you don't lose much. You don't lose much with some of the other players that are missing with her. Yeah, you know, yeah. Her creating her own shot and a step back, and she hasn't shown to be a great three-point shooter, but then she hit a bunch tonight, and, um, you know, she's, she's a good player. How much does that, I mean, just – with what they can do, creating their own shot. I mean, everybody on the court creating their own shot with some of the shots that they're looking to take. How much does that hurt your defense? I mean, or, or change your defensive it, it does. attitude? Yeah, it, it does. You just don't feel like, and I always like to say they're skilled, you know, and, and being part of being skilled is good decision-making. So if you help or you overhelp on something like that, they can find the open person. So if you help, and they know how to move the ball quickly, they're going to get either that shot that you're trying to help on or another wide open shot. So they're really tough to play against. They put a lot of pressure on you individually. You, If you help, you better do it quickly and you better rotate quickly because they're going to find open people. And, and there's definitely some, there's pressure involved in that. The teams that can create their own shot and can work together a little bit are the hardest to play against. Do you learn things about your team? Uh, in games like this where it's close down the stretch and sort of every possession matters where that you might not have in, in some other games this year or might not have yet this year given the games that you guys have played? Yeah, well, I think it's just, you know, you kind of know who can do what, you know, down the stretch. And, you know, it's it's not like we're playing uh, all new people out there. So they they have a history. You know, you know Diaba is only in her second year playing and, and you know, Montana is maybe in her third. And so it's a little bit different. But you kind of know at this point what to expect, uh, who can do what down the stretch. Was it good to see that for the first time this year, though, to see, you know, just make plays in a close game? Yeah, I mean, it, I'm glad we made those great plays down the stretch and we found a way to win, even though we didn't play very good for the first three quarters offensively. Um, you know, but at the same time, I don't mind winning by 20, you know, <laughs> and me not having a heart attack. I, I'd rather do that. I, I got a text message from one of our boosters right when I came out of the locker room. He says we took five years off his life. And, and uh, you know, it, I, I, it's, it's good to know that we can come through in a tight situation. It's good for them to know that they can do that. Um, you know, I could do it without the stress, but we'll at least we won. Gosh, it's good for me. Thank you, uh, Seton. Thanks. Thanks. Anything else? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thank you. All right. Have a good night. Good night. Thanks, Steve. Okay. I'll send this to you in just a second. Appreciate it.
Sí, sí. Y 